Hey, Monica with You Can Trust Your Gut. Today I'm going to be talking about the connection between your emotions and your digestive state. So if you've been trying to solve your digestive issues, you definitely don't want to miss this talk. So it's becoming more and more widely understood that there is a very valuable connection between our emotional well-being and our overall digestive function. In fact, irritable bowel syndrome and many of the digestive issues show up comorbidly with anxiety and depression, so much so that medications that are used to treat digestion are noted to balance the overall mental state and medications that stabilize mood often work to regulate the digestive system. Researchers aren't quite clear on what this connection actually is, but ancient healing modalities like Ayurvedic medicine, which is what I practice, have been writing about this and have understood it for thousands and thousands of years. And that's what I want to share with you today. So according to Ayurvedic medicine, there are many functions to digestion that are expanded beyond just our digestion of food. So we don't just digest food, we actually digest everything that we experience. And we do that via the senses. So we consume what we see through our eyes, what we hear through our ears, what we taste through our mouth, what we smell through our nose, what we feel through our skin. So we're constantly consuming through all of our senses. A strong digestion is the ability to extract the nutrient from whatever it is that we consume and effectively expel the waste. So we actually become toxic whenever this ability becomes compromised. And it becomes compromised by things like sudden trauma, chronic stress, or overall emotional distress over long periods of time. And of course, we also have our physical digestion that refers to when we actually consume food which can also be compromised by following things like the wrong diet for a long period of time or pollutants in our environment or emotional distress and etc. So when we're looking to heal the digestive tract, we also look for telltale signs and how people uh, digest their emotional experiences. And so we look at three specific areas in the entire digestive system. We look at the stomach, which is mostly related to uh, the imbalanced emotional state or emotions of things like resentment, depression, and holding onto the past. So those emotions can contribute to imbalances in the stomach, such as slow metabolism, chronic nausea, or delayed gastric emptying, which basically means that your food sits in your stomach for a really, really long period of time. The small intestine uh, is mostly related to emotions such as anger, irritability, desire to control, and frustration. So when those emotions have run wild, we may see imbalances in the small intestine like fast functioning digestion, loose bowels, um, acid reflux, burning in the stomach. And then the large intestine is mostly related to imbalanced emotions such as chronic fear and worry, anxiety, and trauma. And so whenever there's chronic stress or worry or fret, we may see imbalances in the large intestine like bloating, constipation, abdominal distension, or chronic gas. So whether or not these specific emotions relate to your digestive woes or not, the end message that I would like to leave with you with today is that your body is speaking to you. If you have digestive issues, you want to go past or you want to go beyond just addressing them specifically from the physical level um, of looking at your diet and your supplements, though that is a huge an important component to healing your digestion, you are a whole person. And you wanna also look at your mental state, your emotional state, and your spiritual state when you're looking to heal your digestive issues. So thank you so much for your time today. And I hope that this information aids you on your path and helps you to understand that you can trust your gut.